check, check. Oh, <clears throat> okay. This is the latest stream I've ever done, but I want to get this dang rune. I need a key. I need a key to a crypt, and I think in order to get it, I have to kill a guard. So that is what I am going to attempt. I don't think I've ever been down here. Hello, one viewer. Welcome. We are going to kill a guard in Mumblo because a crypt needs a key. Wait a minute. We are not going to kill a guard. Are we? I'll save it before I try to kill the guard. No combat for you. Oh. Are these Are these hostile? Yes. No. They're not. So You know what I'll do? I'm going to change my plan. Back to Britain. Uh-oh. What 
time is it? If I make it, here if you would like to say something let me know if I know you or not if we have met I am a social gamer you see let's see orb of the moons back to Britain And he's still not here. Maybe I can find him in his room. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. They're all eating dinner. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Boom, boom, Bum 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 These songs are this game is full of earworms. Bum 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 Hail Okay, here we go. Heal me! Yay! Alright now. Back to Moon Glow. Oh no, that's the wrong way. Hey! Hi, Cran. <laughs> we are making progress. I did more than one moon gate. Didn't know you could do that. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, second viewer. Maybe that's Cran. We have a lurker. Um. I think I talked to the guy at the pier. I have visited his grave. My first inclination, the rune is in Baywin's tomb. But all hell breaks loose when you go down there for some reason. Everybody starts trying to kill each other. And the door is locked, 
So my first inclination was to kill the guard to get the keys. But now I'm thinking that I can talk to the peer guy, because before he asked me if I visited his grave, and I said no. So I'm thinking that maybe I say yes now that I have, and he gives me his key to get into the tomb. I don't think this is he. Now I just have to remember where the pier is. Baven, Baven, yeah, 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 okay, okay. I missed, uh, I was one V short on my pronunciation. Thanks for the correction. The pier guy? Yes, he does, because they were friends. They were besties. Unless I'm confusing him with a different person, which is possible. So I'm thinking... Uh, let me ask his significant other, but she's probably not awake. Whoa! Where did he come from? Random skeleton hanging out in Penumbra's house. He's a spry skeleton. Where'd he go? Ah. Pend you. Gosh darn it. He's a resilient little guy. There we go. Of course he has a bunch of throwing axes. All the minions have. So I was in the tomb, or in the catacombs next to the tomb, and this stupid acid thing dissolved my helm. And before my armor and I was pissed a reagent reagents wait is this from the skeleton or is this this is her house yeah I don't want to take those ten yeah I don't want to take those I want to be a good adventurer Got our customary 50 West beer. I don't think I'm gonna be doing this for very long. I just wanna get the dang ring really badly. I had to leave for some reason before. Or maybe I just got tired. I don't feel like I'm going the right direction. I 
I figured I was gonna get the, give this a trial run. Uh oh. I have a suspicion. Oh shoot, no! <sighs> Hello third viewer, welcome. We are after the rune of honesty. My name is Ishel, also called Jonathan. Since people are giving their names on their streams, I figured I should do it. That's actually the first time I've done that before. We're after the Rune of Honesty. And we need to get a key to a crypt. But first, we need to get our poison cured. And look at what I found. Look at, look at, look at. Well, where is it? There, uh... No! I lost it. I had a ring of regeneration. It was so cool. I'll put that on. Ring of protection. What's the green potion again? Is that cure poison? Oh, man. Okay, we need to find the pier. First, we need to get cured again. They said that the average time it takes to finish this game is 40 to 50 hours. And I have already spent... Let's see. I have already spent... see how much have I spent it won't open up Ultima 6 right now but as of today it was 14 and I've gotten one rune so far and liberated one shrine and that is all Galara, thanks for the split. I just now saw that. Oh, I need to check out my multi stream. I could be missing out on some valuable chatters. I am not. All right, where's Lord British? There he is right in front of my face. Heal. Baylin, does he know anything? Nope. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to figure out which stones, which version of stones I should do. They're all a little different. teachers is scolding me
Yeah, he was. He was scolding me for playing so much video games when I'm a pastor of a church. But I told him I'm only a pastor 15 to 20 hours a week. So I have time. So... Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird for baby boomers to see things like this. I don't think it's very thought of very highly. Yeah, I don't think it's thought of very highly by baby boomers. Uh, no offense, Cranberry, if you're that old. <laughs> I don't think you are. I think you might be... Oh, what generation would you be? Generation X? I think you're an Xer. Yes, you're an Xer. Yes. <laughs> you know what's funny? I played, uh, I don't know if I told you this, barely an Xer. So almost a millennial? Because I'm barely a millennial. I think the cutoff for that is 1981, and I was born in 1983. So I'm a millennial by two years. Oregon Trail. Yeah, so you're close to me then. Yeah, because I played the Oregon Trail too. I think I only missed it by, when it first came out, I missed it by a couple years, maybe. Yeah, so you're a couple years older than I am, which is what I thought. Maybe a few. So. Six years. I don't... Uh, yeah, I think you're tail end of X, which is what I thought initially. Okay, okay, okay. Well, for what it's worth, you don't seem six years older than <laughs> I was curious. Thanks for telling me. I was curious exactly how old you were, and I was curious if you slept. It uh, slept. Slept. I need to go to bed. Apparently. Uh. googly eyes. Those are kind of quasi googly eyes. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh my gosh, this is the fight I had the other day. The, this is a gargoyle swarm. Well, there's another one, is there not? I think there's another. Oh, that is not out of range. Oh my gosh. That is true. But you know what? I just advanced to level three, so I want to give this a shot and see. See how it is. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Somebody said that this was... A standard moon gate. I disagree. I think this is an especially heavily guarded one. Oh no, no, no. I'm not going to be able to do this. Because last time I used like eight great heals. And I only have, I don't have any left. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. But let's try anyway. Oh wow, that that's impressive. Hey, Hellstrings. Have we met yet? I think you might be new. Oh man. Oh goodness. Uh What's the green and red potion respectful respectively? I'm going to try this.
Don't drink the green. Is that a poison? That's a poison. What's the red? I don't think they can see me. These aren't hurting me very much. Yeah, I don't, but I don't have any healing spells left. I need more reagents. And last time, like I said, I uh, used like nine great heal spells to get through this. But that was when I was a level lower than I am now. So I wanted to try this and see how I fared. It looks like YOLO is going to die. Why? Why is it missing? This is ridiculous. Which shrine did you level? What stats? Uh, the compassion one, the dexterity, because that's the only one I've liberated so far. But as a warrior, I think dexterity is good. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I don't want any of my party members to... Oh, no! I saved here. Is this the same shrine? If you go through that moon gate, is it the same shrine, or did it take me to a different one? It's a different one. Well, that certainly makes it easy. Either that or they disappeared. Yeah, the one... Oh, that's where I was trying... That's where I was trying to go. Um, but Moonglow... I meant to go to Moonglow first, but I went the wrong way. That's not right either. Let's see. Okay. There. This is Moon Glow. Where did you find me, Hellstrings? Is it Baywin? No, it's not. You said... Q. 
Goose and Bay Vin Bay Bay Vin, of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. This guy knew him too. I thought he did anyway. I guess not. That's where I got stuck in the swamp. some swamp boots. Why is he sleeping already? Oh, a sextant. I already have one of those. Hells bells. That makes sense that there would be a uh, telescope there. If you want, if you're still here. Oh. Hey, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you have my permission to tell me if I'm on the right track with what I'm about to do. I need to get into Bathen's crypt tomb thing, but the door's locked and I can't pick it. And I don't have a magic unlock spell. Does the guard have a key? And if he does, can I kill him to get it safely? Yes. 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 Because as soon as I went down there, there were people down there and they started attacking me. So I'm guessing I don't lose karma if I kill them? Or do I need to sneak past them? Hmm. But they won't talk to me. Okay, my other thought was going to the friend of his and saying, yes, I've been to his grave, and maybe he gives me a key to get in. Those are my two thoughts. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, okay. I, uh... I think I'm going to use go solo mode and use my invisibility ring so I don't attract all those people because that guard was tough. I'm pretty sure that I would have died with everybody else there. Most of the eject... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, I was aware of that. Now then. What is down here? Oh, I bet this is another entrance to the catacombs. May oh no, this is the library. There are books that I can get here that I want to sell, but I kind of had a, have a one-track mind. Yeah, there's a book. Is this where you get the book to translate the tablet that Mariah has, maybe? But that seems weird because she works in the library, so she should be able to get... She should be able to do that herself, if that's the case. Not go... Oh, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. But there's a book of some sort. But this place is frickin' huge. I might have to go back to Britain yet again to get this poison removed. Unless I have a cure potion poison. I have a green potion and a red potion. <laughs> but I do because I went there when I was very, very young. And I was... Surprised. It was a wonderful twist. But I got there before I should have, so I wasn't sure. I think I just used a random moon gate and it took me there. And I met a gargoyle that spoke English. See, this is just a freaking maze. Aha! Warriors of Destiny. This is a summary of Ultima 5, isn't it? Isn't Ultima 5 called Warriors of Destiny? If I take it, do I steal? I do not. S 
so many chutes and ladders. Oh my gosh, there's no way. I need a map. There's no way I can find my way in this. Okay. But now I've got that field dispelled, so I can come and go as I please. I was very jealous of uh, a YouTube video I saw of the music and the speech. I'm thinking about trying to track that one down. I remember I had it before, and some of the speech was not so good. <laughs> the actual origin employees, right? I know Richard Garriott's one. I think Chuckles might be another. <laughs> Actors, they are not. Actors, they are not. That <laughs> was so fun. That is funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think I prefer the text version. Four viewers. Welcome, other two viewers. We are playing Ultima 6. voice acting <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a good investment <laughs> I guess it was because I'm sure they didn't have to spend money on it or much money at least to get foggy. This is cram level hours right here. Yeah, this is cram level hours. I'm going to give this another half hour. Yeah, so I have this teacher who uh, was asking me, just out of curiosity, are you a full-time pastor? I said, I am not. I work 15 to 20 hours a week, so I have lots of time on my hands. I said, were you getting ready to scold me for playing video games so much? And he said, not scold, but I was wondering if I would want a full-time pastor to play video games the time for hours honest fellow he's buried in the catacombs under the moon glow now yes I know do you have a key a 
Okay, so the, say, the pier guy. I just need to find the pier. Whoa! There's that dang skeleton again. Well, that was... He didn't put up much more of a fight that time. <laughs> we have the same sense of humor. It's great. <laughs> Very dry. And like, you're a pretty quick witted, brilliant nerd. <laughs> I love it. I am quick-witted, quasi-brilliant, and not pretty. Oh, that's absolutely a compliment. Absolutely. We I'm pretty sure if you're in an Ultimate Dragons Club for 20-something years, you're a nerd. <laughs> Which... We haven't, I haven't hit 20 yet, but I'm getting there. Wait, why? Didn't I get healed? I thought I got healed. I guess Shamino, I learned it was Shamino recently. Guess he didn't get healed. Oh, this game takes so long to do properly. I mean, I've already spent twice the amount of time that I did on the first Old Republic game. And I've only gotten one rune. Okay, there. Now, can I hold more than 36 stones? I cannot. So, leveling up at a dexterity shrine does not change your strength. So you don't get strength just by le simply leveling. Four viewers, hello four viewers, lurkers and non-lurkers alike. Uh-oh, this is wrong. That's wrong, that's wrong. That is wrong. Okay, sometimes this is easier to do it this way. Easier to do it that way. That way you don't miss. We're doing Ult Ultima 6 after the Shrine of or the Rune of Honesty. We are having trouble with said part of the quest. Sure. 
but something's there. A mouse. There's Mariah. this pier I wonder I don't think it shows me where the pier is I'm pretty sure I'm away from moon glow at the moment no I'm not Moonglow is weird. It has like little villages. Somebody is not in bed. a ship around here somewhere. It's very easy to lose one's ships in this game. Ah! Gosh darn it! Snake is fighting a mouse. How appropriate. Okay, Cranberry, do you remember where the pier is in Moonglow? Quite sure that I'm not in this boat anymore. Yes, yes, yes. You don't say. We're getting close to 50 followers. I'm at 44. I've only been doing this for a few weeks. That's a pretty good. Pace, me and my incessant marketing. <laughs> incessant marketing coupled with incessant hammering. Let's see. Oh, I need to get healed first. I can't just away. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. Oh. Oh, that's okay. You told me that it was last time. Last thing I saw was uh, that the pier is near the ocean. Very intelligent deduction. Oh. Okay, well, he's awake now, so. I might as well save the red potion. 
No, not quite awake, but he'll will be awake soon. <laughs> I am smart. I am a weasel. I am a baboon. Do you remember that cartoon? Car I think that was a Cartoon Network cartoon. Oh. It was in the vein of Ren and Stimpy. Tell me you remember that cartoon. Or are you not a cartoon girl? Maybe. All right, we're going to check this. Ren and Stimpy, I was really young when it came out. Let's see. I spend a lot of time, if I'm watching TV, looking up IMDb things. Actors, show names, dates. The Ren and Stimpy show was 1991. So, uh, you, you're, you, were the, you were in the age group it was geared for. I was the kind of kid that uh, whose parents did, um, didn't let him watch such shows. It was a, a privilege and a rarity. I got to watch Beavis and Butthead on television. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right. What is your what is your cup of tea as far as television goes or do you is that do you have any cups of tea in that realm Ah I know that you do like cups of tea DuckTales, me too! And you know what my favorite favorite was? But if you didn't have cable, I'm not sure if you saw this. Rugrats. I was a Rugrats guy. Yes, yes. There's always a cup of tea in your hand on the streams. I'm not a tea... I, I like cold tea. Iced tea. I'm not a... Oh, uh, that was 1990, I think. That was older than Ren and Stimpy, I think. Let me see. Rugrats. Uh, yeah, 1991. So before Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, oh man, that's classic though. Oh, it was so good. That's, I, I think that... I'm trying to figure out if I liked any cartoon better than that. I don't think I did. I think that was my favorite. And they're all on Hulu, I think. If Cranberry had streaming as a youngster, that would have been really good, wouldn't it have? Let's see. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Disney was great. 
Hence the DuckTales, right? Is that where you saw it? All right, for the love of all that's holy. Where did I find the pier? I think it was south of here. Clearly not there. Clearly not there. Near the ocean, she says. This is somewhat frustrating. But hey, you can... Yes, of course! They wanted to be a religious station only? Disney did? Oh, you mean the local, the local station. Absolutely you can be religious and like details. You can be religious and like Ultima too. And more violent fare and drink beer and drink whiskey and smoke a cigar and other stuff. Nervous to use the phone because you were shy? Aww. Well, I'm guessing you're an introvert, but you're doing really well on your stream. Very nice and friendly. It makes sense why everybody wants to hang out on your channel. Are girl gamers still a rarity these days? Or are they more common? What's this? Well, I can do this now. <laughs> Never used to speak. Oh, this is the house for sale. This is where the guy was killed. I bet. What's this? A fireplace with a white border. Yeah, murder house. Oof. No wonder it's for sale. Bet they're not going to find many buyers, at least not till they mop the blood off the floor. <laughs> Search the drawers. Wow, I thought dressers only held clothes. Nope. Nothing. Ha! You are rusty. <laughs> yes, especially if you're cranberry. <laughs> okay, my dear, this is getting ridiculous. Do you remember where this pier is? Bum, ba bum, bum. Bum 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 Yes, like Chuckles Clue, for instance. And the frickin' secret door. I spent two hours trying to figure out how to get into the catacombs. I had to look at a video. I was disappointed. Because, no, 
You can't even see it. That was a mean trick. That was a mean trick. Open secret door. That was a mean trick. I'm sure I would have remembered that if I had done it when I was a kid. Because that was infuriating. There's a guy with a sextant right here. Where is the pier? I want to go inside there. Explanation is that it has to be somewhere in this, in, somewhere to the south. But not over here, I don't think. Oh! Wow, resilient snake. Yeah, okay, so Moon Glow is huge. in the wrong spot. I am looking in the wrong spot. Uh, isn't this the guy? Wasn't this one of his friends? It is B-E-Y-V-I-N, right? I thought this was one of his friends. Maybe it was the bartender. <sighs> Almost 
almost got poisoned again. Has Sherry gone insane? It looks like Sherry. It's the same texture as Sherry. Did I just kill Sherry? Oh my gosh, massive amounts of mice. I, <laughs> I know it's not, but it would be sad if it were. I was playing Ultima online and I ran into Sherry the mouse and I tried to talk to her and I couldn't do it because I didn't have spirit speak. You have to have spirit speak to speak to animals. So this is all the way up here and that's Mariah's house. And this is the murder house. Is this as far up as you can go? Looks like it. Just about. Maybe I'm thinking of some. Am I thinking of Scare? No, I'm not thinking of Scarabray. I had to get a spell in Scarabray. Somewhere in Moonglow, there is a pier. I know, I know, I was just, I was just kidding. There is a pier in Scarab. Well, of course, it's the seafaring place. <sighs> I don't think it's in Scarab Ray. I'm going to look in the codex and see. I think even if Cranberry was playing this, if she was stuck looking for a peer for so long, she may ask for a hint or go to something as a last resort. Uh, moon glow peer. Moon glow. Okay, so if this map is correct, there is in fact not a pier in Scarabray. Manral. Tavern. Okay, I misremembered. I could have sworn. Sworn, I tell you. Ugh. I 
just now figured out what I can do if I don't like, if I'm not in the mood for the, for a track. not open for the day drinking crowd. Well, he's open for the late morning crowd. Maybe he's having brunch. This isn't it. This is the wrong guy. Aha! Well, Manrel, it said to find Manrel. Oh, have you been? Yeah, here we go! He looks at you suspiciously. You wouldn't be wanting the key to his crypt, would you? Yes, I would. Well, perhaps you have your reasons. Okay, you can have the key. But you have to take these flowers and leave them there. Daffodils were always his favorites. It's too bad I couldn't find any. Yes, daffodils. A woodworker. Dabble in alchemy. Okay, we got it, we got it. Did you know it was that guy? I was kind of right. This is kind of a peer. <laughs> it's too bad that it was right next to the entrance to the effing cat catacombs, too. Oh my gosh. All right. This was mean. Look at this. I had to open this. How long did it take you to figure that out? There's nothing that gives you a hint. Nothing. Of course you did. Did it take you a while? And it was covered up by a plant too. I had to move it. Now, if I can just remember to get how to get there, I think I have to go across there. I don't think there's any way around it. All right, I'm gonna try something crazy. Thank you. 
that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I guess you knew that his name was actually Shamino and not Shamino. I'm sure you did. Is it down below? Yes. Whoa, and there's another one. What's down here? Oh yeah, I remember what's down there. Yeah, did you know that it was Shambano? I mean, I found out that it was Shambano today. Not until U9. I haven't played U9. I think I knew that because I heard Lord British talking about that before, but um, I forgot. I always called him Shimino too. But apparently that was his D&D &D name? Is that right? Really? Continuity error. SCA, what's the SCA? What's that again? Oh, but you mean he pronounces it if you have the voices on? <laughs> I have never heard of that, but that certainly is a creative name for an organization. Oh. So did Lord British, does he have a memory problem? Mm. Maybe it's... <laughs> Ask Shimino about that. That was actually an appropriate response. Yolo says to pronounce how he pronounces his name. Is that what you're thinking of? That's how I learned how to pronounce his name. I don't think I want to go down here. Wait, yes, I do want to go down here. Maybe? Now there are children getting killed somewhere in here and I couldn't find them. It looks like they can't hit you if you're invisible.
Have you heard the story about how... It was one of the Ultima games and hit Richard Garriott's brother and his mom were essentially the board of directors. I think it was the first game they made for Sierra, maybe? And they're about to have it published and the publisher wanted a scene taken out of it where you killed children. Have you heard that story? You probably remember that scene, I imagine. There's a dungeon room. There, okay, so he said that there was a room full of children where they're disguised as children, but they're actually monsters. Is that is that what you're talking about? The Sierra era. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? The Sierra era? Yeah, right, right. So, yeah. And he said that he would have none of it, and he won. I think he was proud of that. But he said that he puts a similar scene in every game. Did you know that part? Yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm asking you this. Of course you know everything there is to know. You've met the guy. So this invisibility ring is nifty. So now I don't have to kill anybody. I can't wait to get there. Yeah, the uh, it said that a child was critical around this area, but I haven't figured out how to reach him because there's a crap ton of ladders down here. I don't even know why I'm down here, come to think of it. Is there anything I need down here? Cast Hellfire on you. <laughs> harder to see in the dark. What is this, a spear? A 
spear. A sword, a wooden shield, and 24 gold coins. Oh. I beat this already. I guess monsters respawn. I knew that gargoyles respawned, but I wasn't sure about all other monsters. And I knew that people respawned. Oh, there's the kid. No, they're killing children. Look it, look it. They're killing children. No. Hopefully they're monsters. What are children doing down here below a crypt? Okay, good. Well, I don't feel as bad now. So this is like the like the room that I was talking about before. This is the scene. That's really cool. I thought it was freaking brilliant what he did there. Like He said you didn't lose karma for killing them because they attacked you. But he also said that there is a way to get what you need without killing him. And he would be curious to see how many people killed him and how many people spared them for the sake of karma. And that's why he wanted to leave it in there. And I was like, man, that's really smart. That That's also a little bit sadistic, really, to mess with your customers like that. <laughs> There were scorpions in Bolivia, but they weren't this big. Out of range. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I've been in here too. So you can't get attacked with an invisibility ring on. That is... I'm sure there are some things that can detect you, but... Oh, this is the annoying part. Oh, no! So, well, there goes my plan. Well, here's another one. So you, ah, uh, so they run out. I thought it was too easy. Yeah, I thought that was too easy. That didn't make any sense to me why they would do that.
that's just me. This is where I was. Now. Oh, heck! Have you been, have you not played this for a really long time? I've never finished it, but I'm going to now. I have resolved. I'm much more motivated by this game than by King's Quest 8, I must say. But I also am confused. I thought I clicked on the wrong thing. This is mean. There are so many dead ends with enemies. Not cool, Richard. Not cool. Not cool. See? You jerks. Acid slug. I'm very glad you can hit ghosts with swords. Here we go. All right. This is not good news. Can I kill these guys? Or is that a no-no? There are two of them. I thought I could be able to... Well, they won't talk... Well, they... he attacked me, so... I guess they think I'm gra a grave robber. Well, they're not hurting me that much. But I'm not hurting them that much either.
I wish I had a lightning wand or a fire fire wand right about now. Sadly, I do not. Do you remember doing this? Well, at least I can take this guy's armor. I don't have arrows. Somebody does. I think Yolo does. Yes. I suck at the bow. <laughs> He's still poisoned though. He is resilient. I got him now. I've got him pinned. Come on. Look 
Look at this guy. Oh! <sighs> oh my goodness. A crossbow, a plate, mail, and 29 gold coins. It can't be too heavy. Why? What do I have that's so heavy? Well. I can have Yolo pick it up. Have him pick up the crossbow too. He likes crossbows. Wow, okay, so how much does the plate mail weigh? Twelve point three st that's why it's too heavy. No, but I can sell it. Can I not? Take the ring off. You don't think so? Okay. I'm gonna frickin' save. Good lord. Only one more light spell. And he wanted me to leave flowers. Aww. What's with the lettering? It does, the lettering doesn't make any sense. I guess they just named the keys letters based on the order that they made them. Oh, so you can search these. I thought these were just random bones. Not random bones, but one gold nugget, one gem, and the rune of honesty. I found out that you don't get busted for robbing graves. That that seems backwards. <laughs> but I don't think you lose any karma from robbing graves. Which means I'm now that I know that there's stuff in those bones, I'm going to go treasure hunting. nothing now I have to tell you I uh, I'm getting kind of addicted to this is there a way to get rid of those stalagmites Okay, maybe there's just stuff in his bones. They don't move. Yeah, but can you destroy them somehow? Not with the sword.
Yeah, but why would it be right in front of a door? How would that happen? That doesn't seem possible to me. Moonglow is a thousand years old? I didn't know that. I mean, I was assuming it wasn't a thousand years old, which is why I thought it was impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I used to like geology. Whoops. All right, well. Got the rune. Frickin' save. Mission accomplished. It's, uh. It's cran... Oh, it's past cranberry hours. It's almost five in the morning. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what am I going to do with my life? And there's another viewer here. Second viewer, we're just wrapping up. We just found the Rune of Honesty after many hours of searching. We found it. And I'm tired because it's 5 a.m. where I am right now. And unlike some among us, I am not a vampire yet. I might be heading there, though. Uh. <sighs> oh, well, I feel like I accomplished something today. It's, uh... Uh... Okay, come on now. Okay. Just to... Did I save it? Just to make sure, because I don't want to redo that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I've never done that before. So... Where do I go to do that? Oh, Cranberry, dear Cranberry. But now we don't, we only have the two of us. How do I raise? Slash raid public loser in the chat. Okay, now, okay, here we go, rating. But I'm not watching. We're making progress, finally. Hey, we're back here. Also, this person's back. I'm gonna leave. Okay, there's gotta be... I, I must have the answer to this thing already. So let's try and solve this. Uh, I can 
open it from here. Let's see. William, Maria, who has the birth certificate? Not sure. The game looks gorgeous. Oh, it's so good. Like, um, it's a really fun uh, storyline going through it. Interesting. It has all the old school survival horror mechanics. Annex. Music's very Silent Hill-esque. Same with the world design. But, ah. Oh. Did I mention the day? I need to know the day they were born. What the fuck? Oh, no. What the hell is going on? Did the game glitch on me? Oh, there it goes. <sighs> Just a little worried. A little worried. What is the birth date? Damn it. Resources. Ah. Oh, yes. That. Thank you for that. It's fine. People make mistakes. It's understandable. Lost another child. That's probably not it. Damn it. I did it again. I think I know what's happening because I have the thing open. Birthday celebration, not my actual deal. Okay, girl's fifth birthday, so 1964, June 21st. Damn it, I did it again. All right, 1964. Oh, it doesn't even have that. What was it? June 1st? Don't build that noise up. Uh, Thirty-five. I'll just see if something works. Click, 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 click. click, 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 click. I don't think I got it right. Hey, Skullaroo's here. First vaccine. Oh yes. Wait, you muted me? I muted you? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. This is PC, though I believe it is on the consoles. I almost exclusively play on PC. I only stream on PC, though, definitely, because I, I don't have the capability of doing elsewise. But now I'm confused. I've muted you through VC public place? What? <laughs> Skullery can't listen to the audio is what it... Oh, yeah, I get that. It's very preppy. Oh, being in a public place. Ah, that's it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I eventually catch on. I'm only somewhat of a dummy. Let's see. Uh, at... Uh, I need to have the thing open on the thing. Okay. Jeez. Uh, no. Damn it! Stop doing that game! Next left. Why isn't it moving forward? Hmm. I think the game is glitching a little bit. All that noise. I don't know if, even, if I'm even looking at this right. I'm trying to lip read, but it's not really working. You're trying. <laughs> That's why I have captioning, but it doesn't work with uh, during my current game, sadly. Well, I've tried the captioning things, but they honestly seem like they're sloppy, so I'm iffy on using that, but I understand it. Also, if you have games with voice acting, it really screws up. Yeah, I agree on that. I mean, hold on. Let me see. What the? Oh, I never opened my thing on Twitch. Yeah. I normally have this open too. Give me a second. Wrong button. Uh, can I do it? How do I set it up? 
So I'll just do it right now if I can. Sorry, a button. I don't see it immediately here. Web capture. I don't know if I can even add things in the moment, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, is it under extensions? Delayed shout out ever. <laughs> it's fine. I'm mostly worried about not having mods if I get uh, uh, chuds in my chat from another game. Interested in open on screen captions, web captioner. How do I set up web captioner? Try web app. That doesn't seem to be it. Is it under screen? I don't feel like it's under screen. I would think it would be under an extension. Not paying attention. Yeah, that's fair. Web app under screen closed captioner. That's something. Configure. The video overlay. Uh, I don't know. Web capture? Okay, there we go. It's a website. I'm doing all this for you, Skullaroo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it working? <laughs> How do I see? This may require a little bit more effort than I thought to set it up. Channel? Um, I'm not using OBS Studio though, I'm just using OBS. So I don't know if I can do it. I have it set up for my chosen font, cranberry colors, plus lilac for in progress words in honor of my work, but it took a while to set up. Yeah. Oh well. I'm sorry, Skullaroo. I tried. Well, I tried to a degree. I could have tried harder, I guess. <laughs> uh, can I give you a tip for the cloth puzzle, or do you want to come to a solution by yourself? Well, my big issue with it is I need to know what date I need to put up there. Like, what is supposed to be linked to it. And I was thinking it would be... Um, it would be the birth date because you know we got this watch on the back time stood still when i tuned just fell from heaven but it also doesn't have seconds and i mean if i'm going with that i have the year but i don't need the year i just need the month and day and i'm wondering if there's anything else i've missed in here young child salary is there anything about your birthday in there? I need to find something with seconds. Whatever it is. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, even if you only raid with one, I I don't I don't mind one way or the other, because you're just a cool person, so it's fine. I need to actually pop into one of your streams at some point, but I've seen you in other streams at least. <laughs> Closer look at the paintings. All right. Nothing really there. And I can't read the text. actually has a little bit more text on it but she hangs out on my channel a lot we're both members of the ultima dragons ah so that's how you know each other 
I mean, I could, I could have assumed. Stream a lot, kind of addicted. Should you still miss touch on there? Eh, we spent much time at my paying job. Ah. Work is for the lame. We only work just to keep survival going. Do the things you enjoy. Wait, can I read that clock? Eh. Doesn't appear to have died. I see a nipple. Offer spiritual guidance if your viewers ask for it. <laughs> mm. Wait. I'm getting caught on stuff. How about you? Mm. Is there something off on this picture? commenting on that before. Aww. Never force. Pastor a church, so I kind of try to help others too. Oh, well, that's a good thing to do. I mean, like, I personally am an atheist. I have plenty of friends who are not, and I recognize that it can be a good thing for people. Nobody should be forced one way or the other. Hmm. Expect atheists? They're very logical creatures. Well, sometimes. I and mean, if I'm honest, a lot of atheists I think are assholes. <laughs> I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. That's a second hand. That is definitely a second hand. So 25? 25 on the second hand? What about you? Maybe this is supposed to be implying that I want to put it as uh, as uh, December 25th? Or should I put Easter? Which, which version should I put? That's confusing. So 25 on the second. You are, is that the hour hand? That would be eight. And then you are probably the minute hand. Yeah, that one's longer. So, eight, 15, 25. Sect to all religious beliefs or lack thereof, and then that is their reasons for believing what they do. Yep. Man, it's when people start getting invested in choosing for other people that I'm like, okay, now you're being kind of a jerk. Uh, 25. No, no, you were 15. made of jade. Delish. Uh, my religion is full of jerks, unfortunately, and Mormons. Some of my church won't get that bill. Ah, that's a shame. Uh, I mean, like, I joke about it, but it's like, I've known a lot of atheists where it's just like, they're very forceful with their beliefs, and it's like, you're not really as different from the fundamentalist as you think you are. Oh, shit, is that bad music? too close to it. Yeah. Uh, it'd be 
this through a forceful and irreligion that manner and not be very secure with their beliefs if they're aggressive. Yeah, I mostly agree on that one. I mean, I view myself as atheist, but I've had multiple encounters with people where it's just like, like there was a really awkward meeting, like my friend who had just started dating somebody and like he was like, oh, I want to introduce you to him. He's really cool. You'll get along. And then the person was just like, oh, uh, she says you're uh, an atheist. I'm also an atheist. Let's talk about how dumb Christians are. It's like, uh, your girlfriend's a Christian. Oh, she knows I don't mean her. Let me, let me just go on a rant about this. It's like, this is really awkward for me. Uh, not to mention, I used to be like, obsessed with like the atheist communities on YouTube and then I watched so many of them no no thank you and then I watched so many of them go pretty much down like the same kind of weird rabbit holes there are some fun ones out there but then there are some where it's just like man you guys really don't see how similar you are to the people you're arguing against Okay, what can I do with this eye? Who needs an eye? Hmm. Ever watch Non Sequitur? Non Sequitur? I don't think I have. Like Richard Dawkins and what's his name? I used to be a fan of Richard Dawkins. He kind of recently has, has fallen off the trail as far as I'm concerned. Um... But I used to follow a couple different random people on YouTube. I won't even bother mentioning names. The only one that I still occasionally watch uh, is uh, Hannah and Jake. But even that's like, not too often. Occasionally I pop into one of their Twitches, but it's not that common. I tend to find myself in the smaller channels more than anything else. Who's a well-known atheist, like super well-known, very abrasive. Uh, Sam Harris, Bill Maher, I mean, I used to be fans of both of them, and they come off as kind of, they're, they're problematic. I'm actually quite ashamed of myself that used to being a big Bill Maher fan. Oh, wait, is this that lit? No, it's Captain McGlow. Will my disc work? Okay, what can I do with you? Let me look at you. Look right down the eye. Was there a statue missing an eye? I don't remember that at all. Hmm. Used to debate live stream on YouTube. It's on hiatus now because the hosts are suing each other? Oh. bringing their debate to the big leagues which I'm kind of wondering which channel you're talking on adding to the states <laughs> that's a good way to view it what am I doing can I play the piano there was that song am, am I supposed to you know I, I barely explored the penthouse maybe I should look up there I was a little distracted with being chased by things. Sam Harris is an idiot. Yeah, I, I get that people used to like him, but he's fallen off. I mean, it's like, I kind of felt that way with Bill Maher too. Though I will admit I was in denial for quite a while and it just hits too much. And it's like, okay, you've lost me. I no longer care about you. I'm done trying. Their debate channel ended up in court is funny. It is kind of funny. I will give you a point. That, that's pretty cool. All right, we'll move through. I think I got everything I can get here, but maybe there was something with the eye. Mm -hmm. There was something in the office. I mean, it didn't seem to have any items I could set up for it. This game is literally three days old. Yep, just came out. It's awesome. 
and I've had some issues with it, but I mean, if we're honest, I probably would have had issues with this stuff in Silent Hill if I played them when they came out. Because Silent Hill has some obtuse puzzles. Yeah, gruesome experiment. Look at that. But this game definitely takes a lot from both Silent Hill and uh, Resident Evil. And I feel like it does a damn good job. What? What was... Did I go in here before? As long as they've been playing it? Yeah, I bought it day one. As soon as I heard about it, I was like, okay, I need it. This is the chosen. I never picked that up. I got distracted, I guess. We fled the mansion making it... Mm. November 15th, 1980. We fled the mansion making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing and huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the water river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind trees on each side. Mother held my sister and me between her arms as we inched closer to the railings. The men approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke, and my sister screamed and fell over it. I caught her by the arm, but wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. She fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to react and lost her footing too. The men grabbed us and took us to Grandfather Noah. Mother looked worse with each passing second. Grandfather had me thrown inside a locked cell. He told me that no one would hear me, no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, I was of no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. After he walked away, I was left alone, locked inside a cell with a single candle to provide light. I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may be the last words I will write. I'm sure I will die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, Father. So, that just answered the question I brought up before. We totally did save our past self from, you know, dying in a cell. This game is doing a lot of time manipulation. Hey, can I open that? Cool. Shove it in. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> save tape? I guess it's a prescient moon. Well, I've made some progress, I guess. I found another thing. Where was the record over here? It was around here, wasn't it? Or a record player? Is this a different room? The penthouse feels off. They announced it on August 7th, came out on the 28th, it is independent developed. They released a demo, and uh, F for Mother, yeah. Well, Mother is alive-ish. She definitely got tormented. The daughter died. But either way, this game came out just a few days ago. The demo was launched, like, maybe two months ago tops. And I was like, oh, this game looks amazing. Put it on my wish list. And just, they didn't even give me an email. I'm a little pissed off. I just, happenstance. It was destiny. I loaded up Steam, just scrolling through through the, the thing, just opened it up, rolled down, and before I even got a chance to click specials and look for more shit to buy and overload myself, found it. This is, I wouldn't say like better than Resident Evil, um, but it's definitely, it's, it's in the vein of the old school RPGs. It, or not RPGs, survival horror. It has the fixed angle, there's a lot of exploration, a lot of puzzle solving. The puzzles are more like Silent Hill than Resident Evil, which I appreciate, because if we're honest, Resident Evil's puzzles are, I found the sword key, and now I go to the door with the sword on it, and I can open it. Haha, -ha, puzzle solving, 101 there. Um, they're more like Silent Hill than that, where you have to actually think about how you would solve it, like that picture puzzle, the painting, which took me a moment, because I'm dumb now, 40% dumber on stream, that's how it is. I disagree, Greg. 
I agree that it's not good voice acting, but I think that's actually part of the charm to these games, having really subdued, awkward voice acting. It's the same thing with like the Silent Hill series. They're not well voiced. They're awkward. They're out of place. There's characters whose dialogue don't feel like they line up, and I think that is kind of part of its charm. But hey, I admit, yeah, it's not good voice acting. <laughs> I just feel it fits. It was more purposeful than than uh, not. Uh, but the combat is just good enough, which is all I really want from it. I never expect great combat in a survival horror game. I mean, Resident Evil uh, 7 and 8 definitely have improved it. 4 had uh, jumps on it, but like, it's not needed to me. Which way am I going? There should be another door here. We went to the children's room. What about the office? This is a very confusing area to explore. Yeah, that's the experiments. Oh yes, I did give you the IP scroller. I honestly thought I did a long while ago. And uh wait. This Okay, yeah, there are two different ones. But yeah, I thought I gave you the IP a while ago and just happened to like while I was in another channel and they were talking about VIP stuff and I was like, I haven't actually messed with VIP in a while. I was scrolling through and I was making sure because I was thinking, like, I thought I forgot maybe Zombie Doll or uh, Karina, and I was certain you were on there, but then, like, I'm going through, it's like, well, they're both there. But there's nothing in the S? So, yeah, I, of course, added it for you. You're VIP here, Scholarly. Okay, we did that. Do you want me to stick the eye in your body? I can do that. Wait a second. Can I stick the eye in my socket? Combine with me! It was worth a shot. <laughs> and yes, you have one as well, Goliath. So I won't call you loser. Oh, that's totally fine. <laughs> and uh, if it makes you feel any better, Rachel, well, I love Silent Hill. I never actually played much of them when they were coming out. Like, I was too much of a coward to play uh, horror games in general as a kid. And only now am I starting to get out of that. I'm going to try just smacking with a crowbar. And unfortunately, you can't even really get Silent Hill 2 or 3. Really? The first one? So easy to. I'm surprised. You're awesome, Scullery. But, um, yeah, like, the first one I ended up getting on PlayStation Online, the service, whatever, digital, so I could finally play it, and I had to quit halfway through, or more than halfway through, because I totally missed the shotgun. And I had, like, 80 shotgun shells, and I'm going into a boss battle just like, eh, eh, slurping health drink, eh, eh, slurp health drink, eh, because eh, I had no other option. I just barely beat it, wasted every ounce of ammo. I had like one health drink left after sitting on like 22. It was way too much. First Resident Evil game I played was Code Veronica for Dreamcast. I was buying the Resident Evil games back then. I never really played them because I was terrible. I, I, I couldn't do it. And if I'm honest, I've tried doing the remake a few times of the first one where it's the fixed angles and all that. And it's beautiful. It's interesting. But I am just awful at swerving around the zombies. And you never have enough ammo to kill everything. Oh. And I'm better at this. Oh. I didn't think I could interact with you. I think I tried that before. How am I supposed to stick that into a statue? From behind. That makes even less sense. Okay, well, it opened the thing. I know how I'm going to solve this. These are going to produce musical notes, and I'm going to have to recreate the child song. See? I am learning to play piano. Okay. We got to go back to the kids' room. This room. <sighs> but yeah, I tried playing...